Good day, good people, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys that long, but there are some things that I want to get into. But before we get into all that, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button. It is free, and it is helping me. Hit that notification button and bell so that way you can be notified every time I'm dropping a video. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and as always, drop a comment in that comment section. Now, let's get to tonight's video. some things that I want to get into when talking about Diddy's situation and what it has started a whole train wreck of events that are taking place. So now the former president or the president of Bad Boy and staff members and stuff like that will be sued or are being sued. They are being hit with negligence and SA and those are the assaults and stuff like that. They are also getting trialed and will be sued. Um, there's not saying an amount yet, but also there is a case allegedly of Jamie Foxx being hit with a SA assault case um, where it happened in a restaurant in New York City is what they are saying. I knew, I knew, soon as Diddy information came out that the rest of the world was going to come out and a whole bunch of other people who had been trying to come out but probably have been scared, probably have been bullied, probably have been, you know, you know, threatened or whatever the case may be. But I knew that their stories were going to slowly start to come out, especially since they saw how fast Cassie came out. And granted, Cassie was uh, Diddy's girlfriend at the time when all this bad stuff was happening to her in this relationship. And granted, she did wait years afterwards to go after him. But honestly, in hindsight, I think that even with her coming forward, that opened up the door and made a crack, at least in the door, to where people are now like, oh yeah, he did this to me too. I was a part of this, no matter when it happened. And I don't think that people necessarily want to maybe even go after him for the money, but I think that people now necessarily want their stories out if anything has happened with them because it's like, dude, you won't get away with this. And if Cassie's going to be out there and tell her story and have those details out, then we need to tell our story as well and let the people know how much of a monster you really are because that's basically what he's being depicted as now in the media. He's being depicted as a monster. And the lawsuit that he had against the company with the liquor and stuff, that's being put on pause until 2024 because he has so much stuff going on. Like, it's not a good look for Diddy and it's definitely not a good look for other people people who have been around him and who are, you know, think that this was cool or knew about his situations or even participated in some of these, you know, events that he had going on. Maybe they did their own thing and maybe they didn't necessarily present in his events, but a lot of people in the industry, you knew that if Diddy was dating her and you was Diddy's so-called friend or alleged friend, like the Jamie Foxes and stuff like that, you knew something and what was going on. And Jamie Foxx had been privy, you know, to information and things going on with Diddy for a long time. And Jamie Foxx used to always talk about how he recorded and he always used to have this big camera that he used to take with him and, you know, recording and Diddy would tell him he couldn't record certain things and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So I think that with him coming in afterwards, it was like, yeah, we're going to get you too. And I don't know if this is real. That's why I said allegedly. This is what's happening with Jamie Foxx right now. But I think that pretty much everybody who was a part of Diddy's circle and was, you know, maybe yes men to him or turned their head the other way with the security and all those other kind of people coming out telling different stories and different counters and events. Of course, now these people are going to come forward and they're going to tell their story. Maybe, like I said, not necessarily to get a dollar, but I'm pretty sure that somebody else is going to be looking for a dollar because somebody was like, you settled so fast with Cassie. And why did you do that? Did you not want your story to be out? Did you not want what you were allegedly doing to be out there in the public? You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to ask yourself, why did they really settle that fast? Like, the next day it was settled with an undeclosed amount. And before, I think that they said that he tried to offer her $10,000 and she didn't want to take that. And she wanted thirty. I mean, $10 million, but she didn't want that. So, you know, she I'm pretty sure either she got the $30 million or... Or if she received a number that was a little higher, he probably came, If you know, she probably had to sign some paperwork and say that she would never talk about the issue again. But I'm pretty sure that for them to have settled it that fast, there were other people that were like, wait a minute, hold up. When did they date? Let me recheck. Let me rethink this. You know what I'm saying? And instead of getting that young Miami, unless she has been through 
some things because honestly how he has evolved throughout the years even though you know cassie and diddy had dated for a long time and he had dated her when she was 19 and stuff like that and we know that that was a minute ago i really want to say he may not be doing all of this and that in the third world creation or maybe she just don't care because you know she is getting them golden showers and stuff and maybe you know Maybe that kind of stuff is not bothering to her because she's getting something out of the deal. Or maybe he's not that whatever with her. Maybe he's doing that to other people. Because, you know, there are cases where some people, um, women and men who are in situations like that, they will show face to whoever they want to show face to. And this one person, he might not be acting that way towards. Or, hey, hands in the air, he may could be acting that way. But I know that since he has come out and Cassie with all this other kind of stuff, it is definitely open up the doorway or at least cracked it like i said for other people to start telling these stories and start really trying to put him on blast and it's almost like while he's in this light this is the perfect time for you to come out and tell your story because people are actually listening right now see before you'd have one person come out and say something or you'd have an you know an allegation or a ledge but there wasn't anything to follow up behind that and then you know these people would be so scared and so intimidated they wouldn't say anything else about what he had going on but i think right now with her getting paid and we know the big amount and what is going on and stuff like that i think that everyone else who has you know some type of involvement or whatever is going to come out and say something. And I think that the people who was working behind the scenes, they should have been getting in trouble as well because a lot of them were yes men. And if this was any other typical job where people were being SA, then the people who were in, you know, even in charge, they would be in fired or they would be some type of disciplinary action would have went place. You know what I'm saying? And even being music or whatever, even, you know, dealing with what you got to deal with, you still have to do protocol and what's supposed to happen in a work environment. You still have to have those type of guidelines or at least some type of guidelines or else everybody would just be doing what they want to do. And we know that a lot of people do do what they want to do, especially in the entertainment industry. But at the same time, that's not how a J-O-B is really supposed to work. And at the end of the day, this is technically their J-O-B. You know what I'm saying? Y'all drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video respectfully.